All right, guys, Justin Russell with RussellMarineProducts.com here. Going to show you how to do a soft and a hard reset on your live unit. There are advantages to both, so be sure to check it out. All right, guys, so I've got a 9 Live here powered up. I want you guys to keep in mind these are computers. How many times do you guys ever try to navigate something on your computer, have an issue, printer won't print, not connectivity. Josh has that problem sometimes. Okay. Sometimes it just needs to be turned off, turned back on, or soft boot, reboot, soft reset, hard reset. So today I'm gonna go over what that does and what each one, how it affects your unit and some of your setting issues on there. So to start with, whether you do a soft or a hard reset, you need to power your unit down. Don't yank your unit out of the wall. Don't pull the power cord out. Actually power it down. We're going to let this thing shut off here now. With the unit off, to do a soft reset, we've got the pages button we're going to hold. Power the unit up. Listen for a beep here. There's our beep. Now we can let go of the pages button. Now we've just completed a soft reset on the unit itself. A soft reset will not delete your waypoints, will not delete your routes or trails. However, I do recommend always backing up your waypoints and routes and trails before you perform either a hard or soft reset. So if you guys have transducer connectivity issues or sometimes networking issues between units, something as simple as just a soft reset will, will take care of those problems and alleviate a lot of frustrations out on the water. Pretty easy to do. All right, now I'm going to shut this thing down again and we'll show you how to do a hard reset. Now, a hard reset will delete your waypoints, trails, and routes. So make sure on a hard reset you already have everything backed up before you try to perform this. So what will end up happening here, this will basically take it back to factory all new, won't even pull up your area that you're in until you reacquire GPS satellite signal, so it will start over all like a fresh unit. To do that, we're gonna hold the plus and minus button down. Turn the power button on, still holding the plus and minus button. Heard the beep, now we can let go of everything, and now we've just performed a hard reset on here. So, I'm gonna let this thing boot up here, get back to the normal screens, Go through some screen selections here. Hard reset is when you have situations like we've had a lot of issues here recently where um, unit isn't registering or picking up the live site transducer after a new update. I don't know why, but a lot of times after doing the latest update for the live site transducer to make it compatible and make it work on your unit, these units need a hard reset. I don't know if it just kind of reiterates the fact to the software and the unit that you're the unit to the software to make sure it's there but it does perform a lot better after a hard reset. So now it's asking us to start retail mode. Again, hard reset, go through to configure everything, miles per hour, just like it was brand new out of the box when you guys first installed them. So if you guys have any questions, post them in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.